Okay, good. All right. Um, hey, everybody. Welcome to Heck and Tell. If this is the right event you're here for, that's great. If not, stay anyway, because it's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah, it's music. Yes, it's like very, very, it's like very soulful music, right? Um, yeah, so the, welcome. Super glad that you all decided to uh, join us today. My name is Sherman, and these are... You want to introduce yourselves? Sure. I'm, I'm Vinny. Hi, everyone. Uh, and I'm Sahil. So Vinny, Sahil and I are the uh, co-organizers of Hack and Tell. Um, there's a little bit of history about, of Hack and Tell in Singapore. We'll talk a little bit about that later, right? Um, so just before we get started, some like housekeeping stuff. Uh, that's really small. But uh, bathrooms, bathrooms very important, are straight out the door and to the left there's a sign. Uh, you should be able to find it and not let me know. Uh, we have pizza outside. If anyone hasn't eaten, please do. It's good pizza. It's also very expensive, so please eat it. Um, and Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is up here. If you want to like take a picture now so you can use it later, do it. Uh, it's also on the board here, but those of you sitting at the back probably can't see it. In that case, you might want to know. Um, yeah, so today's agenda, really quickly. Uh, we are going to spend a bit of time in the beginning to uh, talk a little bit about our host for today, which is Vicky. Thank you, Vicky, for hosting. I also work for the company, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah, no, it's actually very nice because, like, you know, this is the first time we're organizing it, so it's, I'm really glad that, uh, you know, Alex, Alex in the back there gave us a chance to host it here. It means a lot you, to us. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll talk a little bit about what Hack and Tell is, the format, and uh, we'll run through our code of conduct really quickly as well just to make this a comfortable space for everyone. And then we'll have talks, and then at the end, we will probably hang out around here. You can meet the speakers, ask more questions, or just mingle uh, around and eat leftover pizza, because that's what always happens. You know, 16 minutes is a long time to get hungry. So, um, yeah, let me just start with saying thank you to Vicky, uh, Rakuta and Vicky, for hosting us today. Um, we recently rebranded, so now like, I have to say Rakuta and Vicky. Uh, it used to be just Vicky. And uh, for like, how many people here know what Vicky is? Like, what is this space that we're in? The awesome view. <laughs> okay, good chunk, good. Um, so as a, I know we say like no company pitches, but yeah, like, this is the one company pitch. Yeah, this is the one company pitch we're allowed to do because um, thank you for hosting. We will be nothing without the space and food. Uh, so that's my job to tell you about Vicky. Uh, if you ever heard of us before, like a lot of people like, associate Vicky with Korean dramas or uh, dramas, but I want to say that we're a lot more than that, like Vicky can be described as like the premier place to get uh, Asian content, so Korean dramas, like you know, Descendants of the Sun, like Boys Over Flowers, whatnot, um, and uh, Taiwanese and Chinese dramas, but we're also built around a community of people who are volunteers and subtitlers, so we have a lot of like happening content. I don't really watch dramas a lot, but I know like these are relevant, so I will talk about them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we have a bunch of I think we have like descendants. We we have descendants of the sun. I know we do I know we have this for sure. Um, and all of our dramas are subtitled, but not just subtitled we are subtitled by a community of volunteers. So if you ever like want to watch something and um, you need subtitles, Vicky's like the place to go to. Let's see, I'm gonna show you. It's a bit slow because of Wi-Fi. Hmm. So all our subtitles are contributed by volunteers. Um, and we have up to, depending on like, the show, we have up to 20, 30 languages sometimes, which is pretty amazing. So the whole idea of Vicky is to bridge gaps between cultures. And the best way to learn about another culture is by you know, consuming, watching the shows, seeing what's going on. Um, and we recently launched this thing called Learn Mode where you can like learn things, learn uh, a language. Uh, like, for example, if you want to know like Korean, you can just turn on Learn Mode, you can read subtitles, you can figure out like what the word says. It's loading. <laughs> it's the Wi-Fi, not the site, trust me. <laughs> um, <coughs> and you can see here that like, we have uh, we have like a bunch of different languages. We have 49 languages for this episode, which is like pretty oh. amazing. Um, and we also provide tools for our users to subtitle, to uh, like work on these videos, to share their love for it. So our entire team is actually, uh, engineering team is actually in Singapore. We have offices in uh, San Mateo. We also have uh, offices in Korea, 
but Korea, China, I think Japan as well, yeah, and a couple others. Um, but the product and engineering team is in Singapore. Uh, we are like 50 people, really small, but really diverse. About a, I think 30 over nationalities in the whole of the company. And we have like 100 people, so super diverse, really great people to work with, highly recommend it. Um, here's an example of our, our uh, subtitling and segmenting tool, so you can, people, so people can subtitle things. But you know, I'm not going to say this. <laughs> that would be terrible. Um, so yeah, just like if, if you want to find out more, you can ask, talk to me. I work. I actually work on like Wiki Web, the web team. Woo! <laughs> That's how I here today. <laughs> um, I, I know we are hiring, so if you want to find out more, you can talk to our recruiter. Is Joy here? Joy's not here. But if you like, want to find out more, just let me know. I'll refer you to our recruiter. <laughs> Great people to work with. Um, get to work with her. Yeah, they're, they're all they're all in the back, like Vicky people, make some noise. Woo! <laughs> yeah. She's so supportive if they come to our event. <laughs> Show us some code. Yeah, what? No. Secret, <laughs> 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 uh, Maybe one day I'll talk about like Vicky related project. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's all. Um, on Biggie and now B is going to talk a little bit about like what heck can tell us like how did it come to Singapore and what to expect. Cool. Take it away. <laughs> okay, brief, incomplete, and mostly wrong history of hack and tell. Uh, so there's this there's this place in New York called the Rico Center and um, it started kind of like in 2011 and one of the things they do is on Thursdays they do five minute presentations. So presentations can only be five minutes long. It's like a whole bunch of them one after the other and it's really cool because you know if you don't like a talk. It's fine, just wait five minutes and you have a completely different one. So a few people decided to take that aspect of the Rico Center out of the Rico Center and um, called it Hack and Tell. And they're like, hey, let's, let's take some of the values of RC, including, and this practice of having five minute talks and bring it to a wider audience. And they did that and they changed the idea slightly. They improved it, in my opinion, by having five minute talks and then five minutes of question and answers. Because there's one thing about five minute presentations, one after the other, is you don't really have time to ask questions and talk about what you uh, what, what, what you've just seen. And um, so Hack and Tell, they decided to make it, um, yeah, so it runs on RC values. We have uh, a bunch of uh, bunch of social rules at RC, uh, which are basically guidelines for ways to behave, just ways of, um, I guess, making sure that the behavior, you, you, behave, you behave at your best. Um, so the uh, social rules, I think, that, are, that apply to Hack and Tell are, one, no feign surprise, so don't, um, don't, well, when people when people say that they don't know something, don't make basically don't make fun of them for not knowing it. Um, I think that's you know when I say it like that, it sounds pretty obvious, but it's one of the things we do all the time. Um, second is no um, yes question. Oh, yeah. anyway, yes, I put it up yeah, there. You put it up there. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, well, actually, is so when someone says something, don't immediately correct them, especially if the correction has nothing to do with what they're actually trying to say. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, something that I at least used to do all the time. I think I'm slightly better now, but only slightly. And no subtleisms. So, which is a way of basically saying, you know, obviously don't be racist and don't be sexist, but don't even be like ableist or ageist. Just try to like think about what you want to say and try to make sure that you're not discriminating against people for like basically no good reason. Um, there's a fourth one, which is um, no backseat driving. But I guess it doesn't really apply with hack and tell because you can't really backseat drive because you're quiet and you're listening to the people who are presenting present. So that's hack and those are the hack and tell values. Um, five minutes of uh, five minute presentations, five minutes of Q and A. Uh, I think I think there's some leeway about how strict people are with uh, enforcing the five minute rule, but I'm very strict, so I will enforce five minutes. I think that's fair. We will uh, set a timer, uh, yeah. so it will beep, and you can all hear it when five minutes goes off. We'll I'll signal to yeah, I'll one yeah. minute before. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. And I'd expect the same because I'm speaking as well. Uh, and if I you know if I go five minutes, go for it. Please call me out. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's Hack and Tell. It's pretty straightforward. And so anyway, so Hack and Tell spread to a whole bunch of different places, uh, I found out, and uh, including Singapore. And Singapore is one of the, is an interesting one because it didn't actually, uh, Wait, Singapore, <laughs> Singapore, Singapore, Singapore's here. Yeah, yeah, it is. And Singapore is interesting because I think the founders, the people who started Hack and Tell Singapore were not affiliated with RC at all. So they just they were just like, hey, this is a really cool idea. Let's bring it to Singapore, and that's awesome. And you know, me like me personally now um, going to Singapore, going to RC last year, I was like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever. Like, can I have this in in Singapore? And it's like, yes, you can. Except no one's running it anymore. What a shame. So what to do? 
The last one was like 2015. Exactly. So, <laughs> so what would you guys have done? Just make it happen again, right? Which is why I'm personally like very, it means a lot to me that all oh, you guys showed up and came to the first reported hack and tell. Is there anything else I forgot to cover? Uh, no, that's it. Um, so yeah, yeah Kondal is on the website. Um, and uh, we have our list of awesome speakers. We have six people today and 10 minutes each, five minutes talk, five minutes Q&A. So we're just going to get started. Uh, our first speaker is Gergo, who will be telling us about how he reverse engineered a Hungarian text adventure game from 1987 and ported it to Android and got almost 5,000 downloads. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. Woo, look at that. 